This is a $1 5.8 gigahertz linear antenna. And this is a fancy dancy 5.8 gigahertz antenna that costs $15. For the history of time, everyone has always said, buy the circular polarized antenna, you'll get better range, you'll get better penetration, there'll be less bleeding onto other channels. And we just listened. But then I started thinking, to the average pilot, do they really need this when they could buy 15 of these for one of these? Is the performance 15 times better? Is the value 15 times better? I have no idea. But in today's video, you guys are coming along with me to run these two antennas head to head, see the pros, see the cons, and find out which antennas we should be buying going forward. Let's get into it. This video is going to be split up into two simple parts technical knowledge or what the results should be on paper and a real world test where we can visualize the differences with a real FPV drone flying in a real environment recording raw DVR, no magic, no agenda, just analyzing the real results. Now I'm no RF engineer by any means, but I've got a friend who's one and his name is Gemini. So let's hop into that. They answered really fast. So from what Gemini is saying, the electrical field of the wave is oscillated in a single plane, which makes it highly sensitive to the orientation of the antenna relative to the transmitter. If the antenna is not aligned correctly, the signal strength will be significantly reduced. And as it says, common applications include fixed installations where the antenna orientation can be precisely controlled. And that makes a lot of sense. However, on an FPV drone that is constantly flipping, rolling, yaw spinning, crashing, the antenna is anything but mounted at a single orientation, which means that this little guy should struggle a lot according to this. But hey, it's also a dollar too. Circular polarized antennas electrical fields rotate in a circle as the wave propagates. Bunch of words I don't know there. And it makes it less sensitive to the orientation of the antenna, which makes it more robust in situations where the antenna might move or rotate relative to the transmitter. Common applications might be mobile applications such as drones, handheld devices, where maintaining precise antenna alignment is challenging. So even Gemini says that a circular polarized antenna should be far and above the best choice for an FPV drone. But how much better? If you're wanting to learn a little bit more in depth about circular polarized antennas and linear antennas, I am going to link a video right now that I would recommend. This guy makes great in-depth stuff. And if you're wanting to learn more, you should absolutely check it out, but not until you see the real world test. The drone we're going to be using in today's test is a 533 Lightswitch V2, which is a standard FPV race drone. Nothing really fancy about it. Our flagship motor is the HD Zero Race V3 video transmitter, Nano 90 camera, TBS Lucid stack, and this thing was built yesterday, all brand new components. The format of the test is I'm going to be putting two different antennas the circular polarized and linear antenna on the drone and flying the exact same path around the house where you and I can both monitor the video performance of each and compare them against one another. The drone will be on the same channel, the flight path will be the same, the antenna will be mounted in the exact same orientation, the goggles will be in the same place. I will make as many things identical as I possibly can to make sure this test is as fair as it could possibly be and by the end of it, you and I should both know which antennas we should be buying. Let's go fly. True RC antenna on here. This is the $15 antenna. And gonna go for my first flight. R2 25 milliwatts fancy antenna. Around here. Around here. Not great in here. Okay, here's the hard test. Around here. Okay. I'm gonna do one more lap, but try flips along the way so we can change the orientation. Set back in here. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Spin around here. All right, through here. All right, here's where it gets bad. You can definitely see even the circular polarized antenna has nulls. Ooh. And gonna come back. Super easy to change the antenna on this drone. All we have to do is pull off the four top plate screws and get access to the HD Zero VTX. Once you got the four screws out, pop off the antenna, mount, unfold the antenna, and we just need a Phillips head to remove this little bracket right here, pop the UFL off, and then we can install the linear. 
As you can see, the linear antenna fits in here perfectly as this is a dual purpose mount for both linear and circular polarized antennas. Pro tip, and always make sure you get a satisfying click from the UFL connector and that it's placed on straight. We now have the linear antenna mounted in the exact same orientation with the exact same connector and everything as before. And time to see if that extra $14 on every drone is worth it. R2, 25 milliwatts, and a linear antenna. Honestly, not bad. Oh, if this ends up being the same and we've been lied to all these years. Definitely not as good there. All right, now let's do one more with the flips. This is where linear should fail. Seems fine. Over here, flip. You can definitely see in the flip, it does struggle. Here's the sketchy part. This part scares me. Backflip. I'm really intrigued to see the differences between this, I can barely see, this and a circular polarized. Oh my gosh, we'll hit the house. But we're flying around, I'm on 50 hertz, so I can't really go fast, but we're flying around the house. It's pretty good. I don't know. The, res the immediate results look very promising for the linear $1 antennas. Seem to have very similar performance. The, the nulls weren't that strong and I was able to do flips and rolls at different parts of the house and not notice that big of signal degradation, especially considering the value. But where a circular polarized antenna would definitely do better, and I need to do a test on this, is in a congested RF environment. So say you have eight drones flying at the same time. If you have a right-handed polarized and a left-handed polarized antenna, right next to one another and the people have the correct antennas on their receivers or on their goggles technically that should allow you to get closer together and pack in more drones on more channels whereas a linear antenna with a linear antennas on your goggles may be more susceptible to bleed over from others because I'll put some science on the screen right now but basically because the linear antenna sends a signal over a flat plane it's not twisted at all it essentially makes it very easy for it to bleed over to other channels where when you have right-handed and left-handed from what I know is it would basically be a little bit harder for a right-handed antenna to hear a left-handed signal. Therefore, if you alternate right-hand, left-hand, right-hand, left-hand, you should be able to get better performance with multiple drones in the air. Now, if it's just four drones in the air, maybe even six, like a standard race, would you notice? Would it matter? Would it be a significant difference? That's what we need to test right now. But from pure performance alone with one drone in the air, if you're just flying with your friends or you want to know if you can use a linear antenna on a practice quad, I think this video answers that question in that yes, for practice, you only need a $1 antenna. It can be a piece of junk as long as it's mounted out there on the back. I had very good results. I wouldn't be worried about mounting it. I wouldn't be worried about it getting damaged. And I wouldn't be worried about having 15 in my hand because I know 15 in my hand is the same price as one over here. My takeaway from this test is that when I'm going to a race, I'm going to have circular polarized antennas. I'm going to have the correct antennas on my goggles because I want the best chance to succeed. But for literally anything else, any amount of practice, anything, I'm going to be using with linear antennas moving forward unless I'm flying with seven other people at the exact same time. And sure, maybe at that point, a circular polarized antenna would matter. I have links to all the antennas I used in the description below. I'm so excited to hear what you guys have to say about this and think about this. And I will absolutely be doing more tests like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys around.